Welcome back to another awesome video. Today we have a very unusual cassette deck. It's in a hard plastic case. It's got straps to carry it around. It's got uh, gears and internals exposed and accessible by the end user. It's also got a microphone jack, but it's a player only. It's, it doesn't record. This is very strange. But when you look at the, the case and you read the label, it's pretty obvious what it is. A Johnny Stewart cassette tape game caller. So what this is, this is used for hunters, and that little clip right there is for the speaker. We don't have the speaker that came with it, so we're just going to use an extra speaker. But this is for hunters to call game uh, for hunting, mostly predators. So if you look at the cassette, You mean there, the 1987 movie was Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, like predators like uh, coyote. Like this tape is the coyote locator tape, which uh, you know attracts coyotes. There's also like distressed rabbits. So there's a whole selection of, of calls. Who is Johnny Stewart? Sounds like a singer. No. Or Jimmy Stewart. No. This is Johnny Stewart, who apparently back in the early 60s, according to what I've read online, revolutionized the predator hunting concept with these electronic game callers. You took them out in the woods. He started with record players, battery powered also. And then he moved to uh, cassette tapes in the late 60s, way early 70s, which is, I think, what, what era this came from. And then finally, digital memory models, which you can still buy today, like at cabelas.com or whatever. So the brand still exists. Let's see how the beagle reacts to the rabbit, because he's a rabbit hunting dog. You ready, Otis, for some, uh, to listen to some animal howls? So our beagle is sitting by the, the speaker. Activate the game caller. Uh... You don't see two Chrysarians. Let's try to tie it to the locator. It's a coyote. What I find fascinating about this device is the manner in which they've customized things. They've taken some interesting components. For example, it ha it behaves in the manner of a you know late 60s, early 70s cassette deck in that when the power is on, the capstan motor is running all the time. Let's take a look at that. So if we open it up, you'll see right now the power is off. If I flip this on, it starts running immediately. It's interesting the fact that you know a portable boom box would not keep the, the motor running all the time, uh, but this, this does. So the design of this is very much reminiscent of this thing that we did a, a video on a couple of years ago. This is a 1969 cassette deck, but you know it's got the piano key layout. It's not auto stop. It's a single belt drive with the uh, metal fly flywheel. The serial number has a 72 and a 73 in it, so I assume this whole thing was from 72 or 73. This Coyote locator tape is from 91. It actually has a date on it. These older tapes look a little different. And I definitely know they would not be op offering uh, A-tracks in 91. So I'd imagine whoever owned this probably bought this. He came with this initial set of cassettes and then he later ordered this one. And you've also got some helpful full tips. Like for example, Note on the front, the volume control, some of these volume numbers 5 through 9 are in red, 1 through 4 are in black, and there's a little warning over here about uh, only use low volume. Too much volume is the most common mistake for newcomers to electronic varmint calling. And it also has a little note here, don't forget to clean the heads uh, of your cassette deck with the uh, Q-tip. So it's, it's just very interesting the way that they've customized this product. Uh, to sort of lead you down this path. And this company actually used record players in the early 60s. Then they went to cassettes, and uh, the little pamphlet that, that came with it seems to indicate that they used 8-tracks as well, wherever that, that piece is. 12D batteries, that's a lot of batteries. They're all, they're all inserted the same direction, and the battery holder is actually from somebody, Keystone Electronics New York. The cassette deck mechanism is made by... Vortex, made in Japan, so evidently a pretty high quality cassette mechanism, but the cassette mechanism's, mechanism's behavior was not really customized, just the fact they, they dropped it in here. 
The circuit board down there is the amplifier, and uh, it's interesting, you can see the power on the batteries, one positive goes right to the motor, and uh, the other goes to this LM380 amplifier chip, which I believe was a common amplifier, operational amplifier in the, available in the 70s. about it and we'll see you next time see you next time for another awesome video